one of the top-rated restaurants in Walt Disney World, is actually located in the landing area of Disney Springs. The Raglan Road is a Victorian-style Irish pub named after the famous street in Dublin, complete with its own backstory. Okay, so let's talk about this crazy story coming out of Disney. So a man is suing Disney because his wife died there due to an allergic reaction last year. So his wife suffered extreme allergic reactions, but they took a trip to Disney down there in Florida and they went to this restaurant and she told the waiter multiple times, I have this and that allergy to food. Please make sure that there's nothing at all in the food. and the waiter allegedly the staff at the restaurant they ensured her that this food was good to go you don't have to worry about allergies when they came back some of the food was marked that it was allergen free some of it wasn't it so she asked again what about this right here it's not marked no no you're good you're totally fine don't worry about it it's good food you're good to go ate the food left the restaurant passed out due to an allergic reaction died at the hospital so the husband is suing Disney right now. And instead of Disney owning up to what the fuck they did to this family, destroyed this family, killed this woman, instead of them owning up to it, Disney is trying to dismiss the lawsuit. Disney is saying, well, yeah, your wife died due to our extreme negligence at Disney World. Yeah, she died, but you signed up for Disney Plus five years ago and you didn't read the fine print. If you go way down deep buried in the fine print, it says you can't sue us. If you sign up for Disney Plus <laughs> to watch some old Disney classic movies, that means you can't sue us for any reason. Even if your wife dies to our negligence, since you signed up for Disney Plus means you can't sue us. Therefore, we need to dismiss this lawsuit. <laughs> so let's look at this news clip for some details. Disney is trying to have a man's wrongful death lawsuit thrown out. Get this, because it's a little unbelievable, all because he signed up for the company's Disney Plus streaming service years earlier. Let me give you the backstory here. So Jeffrey Piccolo suing Disney after his wife died last year. According to his suit, she suffered a severe allergic reaction after eating at Raglan Road Irish Pub, a restaurant at Disney Springs. The lawsuit says it happened despite warning the restaurant about severe dairy and nut allergies, and the restaurant acknowledged it multiple times, they claim. But court records show that Disney wants the suit dropped because Piccolo signed up for a one-month trial of Disney Plus in 2019. I'm not kidding. Disney is basically saying the terms of service for their streaming service mandate that users settle any lawsuits out of court through arbitration, and they waive their right to a jury trial. Disney says Piccolo agreed to similar terms when he bought a park ticket on Disney's website last year as well. In a legal filing to those claims, Piccolo's lawyer said Disney is, quote, explicitly seeking to bar its 150 million Disney Plus subscribers from ever prosecuting a wrongful death case against it in front of a jury. Even if the case facts have nothing to do with Disney Plus, the same can be said of the conflicting Disney terms of use and my Disney experience agreements. Well, my, that's a lot. So we have a lot of questions yes, about this and we're sure that you do too. So we brought in attorney and managing partner at TK Law, Raymond Trendley, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks so much for coming. I mean, let's just begin with the obvious. Walk us through exactly what Disney is saying here, because it seems like to me they're saying anyone with a Disney Plus subscription has given up or signed away their ability to ever sue the company for anything. And it's not just Disney. What is so absurd about this position is that it's not just Disney. It's the affiliates as well. So anybody that Disney owns an interest in or is in a contractual partnership with could possibly be exempt for any liability for personal injury, gross negligence, and even death, assuming Disney's successful in raising this argument. Wow, that, I did yes. not know that Jump part of this. It. Okay, so here's my question. Disney's argument is basically, hey, I'm sorry your wife died, but you signed up for our streaming service. Could an argument like that possibly hold up in court? So the answer is, anytime you throw a Hail Mary, there's always a possibility for a touchdown. I don't think Disney is going to be successful in this case. It's a hyper-technical argument, and generally speaking, we want people to be free to engage in contracts, 
but they have to be clear and unambiguous. And who signs and reads the 200-page liability waiver when you sign up for Disney Plus on a temporary free month of subscription. It's just not reasonable. Yeah, I mean, do we all have something at stake here? Because when I sign up for a new service for anything, I go right to the end, yes, agree. You exactly. assume that you're not giving up your firstborn and your left arm. And you know, it's so funny you say that, Ginger, because that was exactly my thought. You could be selling your soul, potentially, by signing a liability waiver, by clicking that box. And I think that Disney has a real problem with the proof element, because they have to prove that the person who was injured at Raglan Road, that they actually signed that waiver. And I mm. think that uh, the facts are that allegedly it was the husband who signed it. So the husband wouldn't necessarily have the ability to waive those contractual rights for his wife, who's unfortunately the victim. Wow. And so yeah. I think they have a problem with proof as well because, I mean, even my kids can go on and sign a subscription. Right. Absolutely. Because, they have a problem absolutely. with proof and they have wow. a problem with the way this looks to what a story. the entire country. Thank you for breaking there you have it. Is this lawsuit going to go through? Because it looks like they're trying to say everybody who signed up for Disney Plus, you better have read this fine print. Because if anything happens to you, if the roller coaster collapses and you die right there, if something happens in a hotel, if you die at a restaurant due to our negligence, like this lady did, if anything happens to you, you can't sue us. That's the precedent they're trying to set. Now, the trial, the hearings and stuff start in October. And if this goes through, it's going to be an industry-wide precedent, meaning people can sign up for some service, not necessarily Disney, but any service. And if they don't go through all of the hundreds of pages, potentially hundreds of pages of fine print, saying that they can't sue them for something completely unrelated to whatever service they're signing for, it means they can't sue them, which is completely ridiculous. So I don't think... <laughs> This is going to work out for Disney. In fact, the PR is already not working out. It's completely ridiculous. Look, she died because of your negligence. Just pay this man. Pay this man whatever he's asking for. And I was reading, he's only asking for $50,000, which you need to add a zero to, to that right there. That's completely ridiculous. But it would be better off if Disney just paid this man, apologize, and let him move on with his life instead of trying to do this ridiculous dumb shit. But that's Disney for you because it's company's evil. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.